The moon hung high in the midnight sky, casting its reflection upon the dark surface of the lake. My friends and I had decided to travel to the town's famous haunted lake, seeking a thrill and adrenaline rush. As we stood on the shore, the air was thick with the scent of pine and anticipation, the promise of adventure hanging heavy in the night. It started as a dare, a playful challenge whispered amongst ourselves. The lake, rumored to be haunted at 3 a.m., intriguing us with its dark depths and mysterious allure. With each passing moment, the air grew colder, the silence of the forest broken only by the soft lapping of water against the shore. As the clock struck three, we stood on the edge of the lake, our hearts pounding with adrenaline and excitement. One by one, my friends jumped into the water, their laughter echoing through the night like a haunting melody. The moonlight danced upon the surface, casting long shadows that seemed to stretch and twist with each ripple. It was then made up another date, a challenge to swim out into the lake alone to see who could survive the haunted waters the longest. With nervous laughter, my friends took turns plunging into the darkness, disappearing beneath the surface of the dark waters. Yet, as each one resurfaced, their smiles disappeared, replaced by a hint of unease and remorse. I watched from the shore, my heart pounding in my chest, as I waited for my turn to face the challenge. Despite the warmth of the summer night, a chill settled over me, a result of the horrors that awaited beneath the surface. As the last of my friends emerged from the water, I took a deep breath, preparing myself for what was to come. With hesitant steps, I jumped into the lake, the icy water sending shivers up and down my spine. The darkness hugged me, swallowing me whole as I swam further from the safety of the shore. With each stroke, the water grew colder, its depths unfathomable and unknown. The moonlight flickered overhead, casting eerie shadows that danced upon the surface of the waters. The air was thick with the scent of decay, a foul odor that clung to the water. As I swam further from the shore, a sense of unease settled over me a feeling of being watched by unseen eyes that lurked just beyond the darkness. The whispers of the forest grew louder, a chorus of voices that seemed to echo through the night, urging me to turn back before it was too late. But I couldn't back out from the challenge so soon, and I was determined to see it through to the end. With each stroke, I pushed myself further into the darkness my heart pounding in my chest as I braved the haunted waters of the lake. Yet, as I reached the center, a chill ran down my spine, a presence lurking just beneath the surface, waiting to drag me down into the depths below. It was then that it happened, a hand reaching up from the depths, its icy grip closing around my ankle with a vice-like grip. Panic surged through me, adrenaline coursing through my veins as I struggled against the unseen force that sought to drag me down into the abyss. With a desperate cry, I fought against the darkness, clawing my way towards the surface with every ounce of strength I possessed. The water churned around me, a whirlpool of terror that threatened to swallow me whole. Yet, with each stroke, I felt the spirits of the lake pulling me deeper into their grasp their whispers of despair echoing through the night. As I broke the surface, gasping for air, I saw them, the faces of the drowned, their eyes empty and hollow, staring into the void with a haunting intensity. The spirits of the lake had awoken, their fury unleashed upon those who dared to disturb their slumber. With a surge of adrenaline, I swam towards the shore the darkness closing in around me. The whispers of the forest grew louder. What sounded like a thousand voices echoed through the night, urging me to leave before it was too late. As I stumbled onto the shore, my friends rushed to my side, their faces pale with fear as they helped me to safety. The spirits of the lake had stopped, 
their wrath calmed by our escape from the darkness that lurked beneath the surface. As we made our way back to the safety of the car, the air was thick with the scent of decay, a reminder of the horrors we had witnessed in the dead of night. The night swim had gone horribly wrong, a journey into the depths of darkness that would haunt us forever. Even though we escaped with our lives, the memory of that fateful night would forever be etched into our minds, a chilling reminder of the dangers that lurk just beneath the surface of those haunted waters.